Marcus stole my tag. Just put it back on a roadster. Oh no, put it on Dusty. Put it on Dusty. It was, it was for a good cause. I took my I took my new girl out for a drive. Okay, nice. And when he means when he says new girl, he doesn't mean a female. No, I mean my new car. There you go. Just to specify, ladies, you don't want to you don't want to sink yourself that quick. So yeah, putting the tag back on Dusty. Meanwhile, Marcus is working on something pretty cool. He is working on a Skyline. It's a four door. This is one of the cars that we brought in. It is a automatic non-turbo so and it's rb25 yeah so it's kind of kind of different and what are you doing i am putting a turbo on it but the coolest thing that roberto said to me about this thing the, the turbos whatever but the coolest thing he said was that it's going to stay automatic but in australia i guess they have this thing for the transmission that makes it like shift like a 35 an r35 it's like paddle shift yeah like paddle shifters and if this thing works exactly like that i'm not gonna want to give it back to the guy <laughs> i'm just gonna want to sit there and do burnouts all day with it what if he says huck it i'm gonna huck it hard it. no no i don't want to break the car dude but he wants you to no 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 i bet he does anyway but here's what this here's what this we got this is just a mock-up of it but i like the cx racing manifold yeah and the turbo setup it's actually a decent manifold. The quality of this stuff is, is I mean, the turbo, I don't know, questionable. It's eBay. Yeah, but that's easy to replace. <clears throat> but the, the for fitment issue, you can see, like, clearance-wise, it's really nice. Yeah. Everything's where it needs to be. Here's the stock log, which is junk. Logish. Very logish. I said you should just flip it over and put the turbo on it, but I don't um, know if it'll work. That's too haggard, isn't it? No, that's just haggard enough. <laughs> So anyway, we are straight away from the haggardness, yeah. and we've got this nice setup that's going in. So we're like three steps up from haggard now. Well, this is like um, For, first is eBay. So this is like decent. Yeah, this De is mid. This is mid grade. N this is mid grade garage. Yeah, that's that's what this name of this new channel is. Yeah. So subscribe to Mid Grade Garage. Um, it's coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, but yeah, it, stay it's tuned in there for nice. This. We'll probably put like <clears throat> another, put like a heat, heat shield, shield yeah. mm -hmm. thing right there. Roberto wanted to ask the guy if you want to do uh, RV26 valve cover the instead look, of 25. Which obviously looks really good. We did that on my R34. Yeah. So, yeah, because this like tacky old Lock school stuff. Yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't look right, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know if I told you guys, but it's getting like a aftermarket intake manifold. It's a lot which will be really cool, yeah. So this yeah. will look just, just like mine. Just like yours. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. Like the valve cover is going to make it look like. Yeah, yeah because this, this factory one's a crossover, obviously. And so it hides the. Yeah, you would have to make some stupid pipe to come across here, and yeah. it's just a big. You have to make a pipe that loops across the top, goes <clears throat> back down through the front, comes up, makes a bunch of wig. That's junk. I'm just excited to see like the automatic aspect. Dude, I just, I just want to rip it after that. That thing's going <laughs> to be like a 35. I can't wait. Yeah, that'll be pretty sick to see. So Mark is gonna keep chugging away at this. This is a it's a pretty long term project, but at yeah. the same time we're getting it done. So stay tuned for results on that. We'll see how that goes. And uh, I'm gonna try and do a couple of things myself. I got some ideas for the scooter. I got some ideas for clean culture this weekend. We've got a we got yep the jet ski. We got a um, we got clean culture this weekend. It's gonna be a sick sick show. Rod Nick knocks on the way down. Nick's car is out. Rod knocks on the way down. That's right. So he's gonna be with us. We're gonna be hanging out. And Nick from Clean Culture is getting a shine on. Roberto's car is getting a shine on, or Haley's car, whatever. And. Uh, so uh, Nick's, Nick's car's getting a shine on. He, we're going to try and turn the wick up on this car a little bit. Nick says he's not making enough power, so we'll he's try not and... Spinning enough. He's not spinning enough. So we're going to turn it up a little bit and see what happens before the show. So stay tuned for that and uh, see what other kind of trouble I can get into. Look at this lazy MF over here. You're just <laughs> taking up all the couch, aren't you? That's it. This is what he does. Show coming up, got to relax, right? That's it. So if you guys want to check out Nick and you want to see his car and you want to see our stuff, make sure you come out to Clean Culture. PBIR this weekend. Dang shit. It is real. We are not messing around. Burnouts. Burnouts, two-step, all kinds of Christy. freaking debauchery, girls, cars. 
maybe cakes. maybe funnel cakes yeah. oh for real i'm on that funnel cake thing scooters you know what i'm trying to do you need to make this happen i'm trying to race somebody on my scooter okay Let's do it. i want someone who thinks their shit's fast zero to 60 i want to i want to just the just face them we're gonna rent outside it's pretty quick well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wax that shit up real easy <laughs> that's not even no, no, I wanna, I wanna finesse something really smooth. You know what I mean? So, in front of all their friends, watch for that scooter. So today, Marcus is installing what? Stuff. Stuff. So we got a full package for an Evo 10. We're putting on. This is an AMS goodies. Basically, all the whole, all the piping, intake, intercooler. Exhaust. It's a pretty sweet package. So it's getting that done. And I am getting ready for the show tomorrow, Clean Culture at PBIR. We're gonna be there from five to whenever. Be Hopefully not too late. What's that? Be there or be square. That's what Marcus says, so you wanna come hang out, say hi to us. We'll be there with our our vehicles. I'm bringing, I'm bringing something fun. It's gonna be good. Think people are gonna like what I'm bringing? Possibly. Think so? Possibly. You ever seen one at a? Uh, I have not. At a car show yet? Have not. That'd be fun. So, uh, yeah, we'll be there, and Roberto will be there. Marcus will be there. Yeah. Carlos's car will be there, but Carlos won't be there. Rodney will be there. Oh yeah, Ruddy's coming. So get ready for that. He'll be here tonight, tomorrow morning, wish. I don't know. Sometime in the morning. sometime in the middle of the night he's coming this way. He's in Colorado right now. But uh living it up living it up with the booster boys. Yeah, living it up. He just just gave away the rice or Miata. Kinda sad, but kinda happy at the same time. What do you think? It wasn't your car. It wasn't my car, but it's still like it's like an iconic car for him. That's his Name of his channel. He's got, got a change. He's got, got a roadster. It's time for him to change the name of his channel. A roadster. Ricer Roadster. Yep. Don't do that. You should just change it to Rod Knock Mod Shop. Be done with it. What are you pondering in here? Lots of exhaust manifolds. Oh boy. Gotta get that. That's a pain in the butt to get out. I'm just wiping. Mm. Okay. We'll, we'll let Marcus get back to work, but. He'll have this buttoned up shortly, I think. Not too long. Roberto's car is ready for the show too. All clean. Every, this is the cleanest this car's ever been in its life, I'm pretty sure. And hopefully the weather holds out. If the weather doesn't hold out, I'm just taking Dusty. If the weather does hold out, I'm bringing something cool, so. If you come out to the show, check it out. If you don't come out to the show, just wait. You'll see it on the video here. I'll just uh, just have to show it to you. So, we'll see you guys. Also, I wanted to mention, we still have this 300, well, Z32. It's up for grabs. Um, no one's claimed it yet, it's a twin turbo. Pretty sweet car. So if you're in a neighborhood for one of these, give it a look. It's actually a nice car. We got it with a group of other cars and the other cars already sold off. This one is still available. It's got these cool, cool little trim pieces that are really hard to get. Super expensive. And it has them all. I have those on Dusty actually. The Skyline ones are like impossible to get. But uh, yeah, so we got that car still up, and uh, we got some more cars on the way. We did win a really nice um, GTST, so I'll show you some pictures of that. If you go to the Instagram, we'll post them up on there, Facebook. That's a really nice car. It's a red GTST, five-speed turbo, so, and it's two-door, it's not four-door. So it's a kind of a cool car, and then people who want the Skyline experience without paying the GTR tax, that's a good one for you. So give that one a look. And if you have any questions about any of the cars that you see on the website, just let us know. 
shoot us an email to uh, info at horsepowerlogic.com and we'll get back to you super quick. Right, Marcus? Yeah. Yeah.